Hey guys, Lumi here. Today I'm going to walk you through my design, Lunarity. Now this is something I created probably a few months ago. Uh, it actually got featured by Adobe Photoshop. So uh, yeah, I just want to, this is going to be, interestingly enough, a very advanced and very simplified uh, tutorial. And uh, maybe you'll see what I'm talking about as we go on. So. Basically what I want to show you is the way that I composed this uh, using a bunch of different photos. And so, um, interestingly, I actually had to simplify this a lot in order to fit this into a reasonably, a, a video of reasonable length. And so, uh, let me walk you through the different photos that I used to create this. So, there's kind of a clearing image. This is the main image and it goes in the middle. There's a waterfall, which goes at the bottom. There's a moon image. A sky image, which is actually the image of a mountain that I flipped upside down. And then there's a lens flare for uh, the sun. Oh. I almost forgot. There's also an image of some birds <laughs> in front of the sun. So, uh... Let me show you now. I simplified this by, you know, doing all my color adjustments beforehand. Um, so let's let me show you kind of how I laid this out. So first of all, there's the valley. Now, in order to fit our image, I'm going to need to kind of make this composition a bit more tall. So I'm going to hit C for crop, and I'm actually going to hold down Option. I'm going to click so that the canvas height is adjusted on both sides. You know what, I think that's a pretty good height. Gonna go in here, gonna go to my waterfall image. Let's actually make sure that it's named waterfall so that this isn't confusing. Click, drag over to the clearing image. Gonna take this, gonna drag it down. And I'm actually going to adjust the height a little bit. Don't want this to take up too much room. So I'm actually gonna go into my smart object and I'm gonna convert all this stuff. Sorry, I had to simplify it a little bit in order to, uh, like I said, fit it into a reasonable length. I'm gonna use my wand tool, I'm gonna click up here. And what we're essentially we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna remove the sky. And as you can see, it actually selected a bit of the waterfall as well. So I'm gonna go in here with my magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to make sure that this is on subtract. And we're gonna subtract the waterfall from the selection. Then once that's done, I'm going to hit mask. And I actually masked the sky. So what we're gonna to need to do is invert this mask. So I'm gonna click on the mask. I'm gonna go command or control I. And there we go. The sky is removed, so let's hit save and go back to our original composition. All right, this is starting to look cool. Let's drag this up a little bit. Now I'm going to go into my sky. I'm going to take this, I'm going to click and drag it over to my composition. I'm going to go like this, I'm going to drag it to the bottom, then I'm going to flip it vertically. Drag it up a bit. You can't really see it. And uh, actually what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to remove the, bu the back of this image, the clearing image in order to uh, get it everything nicely laid out so that we can see the sky. So I'm gonna go in here with my wand tool. I'm gonna select this stuff. And I actually want this part to be gone as well. So you again uh, oh oops gonna use the magnetic lasso tool and I'm going to actually add to my selection this time by clicking this gonna click I'm going to select uh, the magic lasso tool is great for stuff like this you can actually just drag it along and it doesn't in most cases it doesn't need to be perfect and let's say you do make a mistake you can hit delete Hit delete and it'll delete your last point, which is really nice. 
gonna double click nice so I'm gonna hit mask and it looks like I did the same thing again we're gonna need to invert the mask so I'm gonna click on my mask and I'm gonna hit command or control I and there we go we're really getting somewhere this is looking really nice gonna go to my moon gonna hit the wand tool let's do some selection now I don't know if that's going to be perfect I'm gonna hit my mask gonna again invert my mask let's click and drag this over to my main image okay nice uh, I think that this is a bit too big so I'm going to hit command T or control T for transform I'm going to shrink it down a bit nice also gonna take my waterfall image and drag it up a bit I think it will look, I think it'll look nicer and more dynamic if I do that awesome this is looking really good so I'm gonna duplicate my moon image Use it. I hit Command or Control J. Gonna convert it to a smart object. Then I'm going to click and drag it down. First of all, I'm gonna hit Command T, Control T for transform. Gonna make gonna make it less tall. And then. I'm going to skew this image a bit so that we can create a shadow. And this will look really nice. I'm gonna click right here. Um, gonna make it a little bit less high again. A little less tall, excuse me. Can I click on, double click on the image? Gonna reduce the opacity all the way. Then I'm gonna do a gradient overlay for a shadow. Now, as you can see, this is a black to black, 100% uh, opacity to 0% opacity shadow. And I have it at 44%. You know what, you can actually even remove this. I don't know why they have two right there. Okay, so that's looking okay. We're probably gonna reduce the opacity some more. I'm gonna blur it a little bit so it looks nicer. move it over a little bit now let's go ahead and add our sun so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click and drag my lens flare which you can get these anywhere just literally Google lens flare pack and uh, you'll find something I guarantee it uh, click and drag so it's behind my moon I'm gonna go and set this in screen then I'm going to transform it down a bit because it's way too big. And really the point of this tutorial is to show you little techniques and ways of thinking so that you can just create a dynamic, uh, dynamic composition. And actually, interestingly enough, it's you can use this and just take different photos, put them together, see what happens. Uh, that's honestly what I did for this. I'm gonna click and drag my birds over. We're getting very close to this being done. All right, I'm gonna take this, my birds, gonna drag them behind my lens flare. So that looks nice. All right, I kind of want to center my moon a little bit. Now, as you can see, this isn't exactly like the original image, but it's a lot like it, and. Uh, I went ahead and as you can see there's a group on top and there are a bunch of adjustment layers but uh, coloring that's a totally different tutorial but again I just wanted to show you this and uh, show you how I combine these photos to create this composition if you're looking for images uh, two really great sites are unsplash.com and uh, pexels with an e dot uh, com those are both great I think I got all these images from there and uh, maybe I'll put some links in the description. Creative Market is another one that's really nice. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you for your time. Uh, if you appreciate this tutorial, kindly uh, subscribe because that really motivates and incentivizes me to do more of these and I appreciate it. So if you'd like to be notified when I create a new tutorial, hit the little Taco Bell icon over to the right and uh, you'll receive a notification or an email, I'm not really sure. 
And uh, yeah, check out my other tutorials. I'm starting to get a few of them. Um, also, one more thing. I'm going to take the PSD for this. I'm going to put it in my store if you'd like to get it and look through it yourself. All right. This has been Lumi, and uh, thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.